obviously hugely disappointed in that first half in particular. Just three errors, four, four, four drop balls in our, in our half, just clean drop balls. It's, just, I'm asking the players again, it's like, I can't make it any easier, we just have to, which we've been pretty good at last week. We're 100% on exit last week, I'm not having anything in our half, we're 100% against the talents, the best side in the competition. And we're competing, we're fighting hard. And then today it was, our contact was, Bit sloppy at times. First off, I mean, three or four simple errors in our half that didn't bite them in. I don't see the side that I've seen train, and I'm just that's the question I've asked the players. Is that I don't know how we can become again so poor for a 25 30 minute period. I said we could still be out there now, but I'm the only team that on the ball not scored. It's that kind of we just seem to lose our way, just didn't look anything that we practice and that's what disappointed about the, the pressure of these kind of games is just weighing them down and I need to find a way of getting through that with them that mental toughness of just doing the little things and not getting bored of doing the things that we did the week before I think it can't be as good as we were against Leeds and Talent Wigan it can't be that good and that poor as we were today in that first 20 minutes when we got on the board in the second half, they say we we got some field position, we put them under pressure, we kept the ball in play, we stopped them kicking the ball out and taking 20 minutes to take every scrum. We tried to put some tempo in the game to wear their big fellas out. But the game allows them to be able to do that, to stop the game, to reset themselves, to take as long as they need to, to get their energy back. It doesn't help a side that wants to play with a bit of tempo and, and it's but then again, we just get anxious and we try and force play and forward passes, knock-ons, getting into attacking situations, not getting the ball down when we get over the line. But those two, I said that one in the corner where they just demanded that they, they held us up. And then that takes it to 16-10 before the kick, who knows on the back of that, if that gives us a bit of momentum, but we can't get the ball on the ground. Yeah, did you speak to um, that chairman about that? Get the ball down, or I didn't see him get the ball down on that video replay. I think it's just above. Well, they made that call well, and like I say we lose again in a week, but it's a different call. <laughs> There's a couple of penalties in there. You can we can pull it to pieces. There's a couple of penalties in there. There's a knock on when you can see on the video that he pulls it out, and then there's a there's a knock on by them in the goal line. It's virtually the same thing. You don't call a knock on, he calls a ripped out. It's like you don't seem to get those calls, but that's that, that doesn't excuse the poor skill and just the lack of direction from the team for a period. And it's 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 not a nice changing room, it's not a nice stadium, it's not it's some of the things that go on around the edges, it's, it's just not nice. You spent a long time, longer than normal, Dennis, in the dressing room after the match. What was the, the basis of your discussion with your, with your fellow coaches? Oh, the, where we just, what, if our team looks like that, what does that reflect on us and what are we doing and what do we need to do more of? Or what do we need? We need to find a way through this. And this is not about the eights or where we fit. This is about this training next week. It's about Catalan, about what what we need to do to prepare to get ready for that, get that game, that away trip. We're away, Salford away, Wakefield away again. I think it's home away. We've got we've got fed all some road trips over the next month, and we need to stick together. We need to find a way through a coaching team and our playing personnel to work ourselves through this. And it's got to be a game at a time, it's got to be a session at a time. And effectively just put it on myself and on the coaches if like if our team turn up and play like that, we need to have a good look at ourselves and find out how we can turn that around. That's what you said to me. And an embarrassment would you say? Because of your high standards in the players. Embarrassment, no, no, I, I, I'm not I, I'm, I'm disappointed. Fuming with some of the efforts and there, but I've also seen it's not efforts. It's like we tried, to, but just dumb. And we we say we can. I don't see the lads leaving the training field early. It's one of those. I'm looking back now, and when our sessions are finished and the detail we put in the video meetings we've had, I don't see them leaving early. I see them asking questions. I see them staying out longer. They're working. We've got two coaches working with Welly like constantly on little aspects of his game that he still gets wrong in the, on game day. It comes on, and 
little things around our shape, we constantly doing it and I'd pass it and from nine and then we'd drop ball as a fall pass and we'd just get anxious and more anxious. The crowd turns on us. Rightly so because they're, they're, they're disappointed as well. They're disappointed in what they're seeing from their team. They're not seeing the effort and the energy to try and get in those positions to see poor execution, to see poor skill under pressure. What would you say to someone in France then? Because they were calling the change. Like, I understand where they're coming from. It's not that. Like I said, I'd love to make some changes myself. Yeah, <laughs> I think James would as well. Yeah. I said it's not about us pulling it together. We're trying to pull it together. It's not like we're trying to pull it apart. And nobody works harder than James in this place. Nobody.